Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, where last episode, the fascists won the mildly bugged election. They, uh, they definitely won it. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> and at this point, we are justifying against China. So we are going to attack China very soon here. We are currently, actually we're about 100 days, like three months away from our justification finishing. So we're gonna proceed forward here. We're currently working on constructing a bunch of railway upgrades. And that'll take some time to work through, no doubt about that. What we need really right now is to get tank production ramped up. Now we are about to get a couple of armored divisions online, and that is good. We're going to need them, but our tanks are kind of dated. I don't know how that's going to go. It'll be very, very interesting for sure to see where China is at technologically. So we might have to ramp some things up. It might be an easy fight or it might be a hard fight. I'm not entirely sure at this point. If this was earlier in the game, I would say it'd be an easy fight, but we don't technically know that. For now, we're going to cruise on forward and continue to work on our various... Oh, hello, another infantry division. Work on our various preparations for fighting this war. We're very, very close at this point. So we should grab elastic defense. That'll be fine. Fantastic. Beyond that, are we going to go for, like, Blitzkrieg? We might, actually. Blitzkrieg might not be a terrible idea. We'll see. For, for now, we'll see. So we're currently at about 10% world tension, and we want to keep that world tension as low as possible for now, so that the democratic nations don't get too frisky. That will change. That will definitely happen eventually. We do have an infantry division ready to be assigned here, and at this point, we only need six additional infantry divisions to fill out this army. I'm reasonably content with our current status there. Capital ship effort has finished, and we can grab, say, destroyer effort next. We're mostly just working our way through all of that. So that looks good. We have a bunch of kind of slow technologies being worked on at this moment, which is absolutely fine. An armored division is absolutely wonderful, and we're going to head out over there. Now, we do have low supplies out on this border, and I am noticing that China has arrayed an army against us. 18 divisions down over here. That's slightly spooky. Everywhere else, it's less spooky, I would say. So we're definitely noticing that there is quite a lot of lack of organization here. This is because we are exercising, of course. So for the moment, that's not the biggest of deals. The amount of troops that are on this front here does make me sad. We may want to end up having these guys be... Well, we definitely do want to have them assigned out over here. So we're going to do that for now. We're going to send some additional forces down here. These were not there originally, and that is, of course, a bit of a problem. Okay, so I am certainly concerned. Hang on. We see 18 divisions here. Which I believe is including these Korean divisions. Okay, are they allied? Let's just check in here real quick. So they have... Okay, they have Korea as a pu puppet state. That's fine. That is absolutely okay. So this is going to be potentially spicy out over here. We'll see how that goes. We're definitely moving additional forces over to the front. I'm kind of expecting our main push to be not exactly down here. We don't really have any tanks there at this moment. So that is definitely a concern. We can definitely send additional infantry forces to hold this front. We can also work on some levels of land forts along this. That is a theoretical option right now. Is that something that we want to do? Well, it's probably not a terrible idea. So let's see here. Shift and control would be the combo that we'd want for that. So it would be something like this. And then all along here. This is going to be quite expensive to construct. That's for sure. But we can at least get it started. And it'll take some time, but it'll be absolutely fine. So we're just, I don't actually want this. I don't actually want this. We just want right along here so that they, it's much harder for them to push us back. The question is how much of this will get completed 
by the time we're actually going to declare this war? I think the answer to that is minimal amounts, but we might as well get going on it and just see how it gets done. So we'll do something along the lines of that. Another thing that I want to do is I absolutely do want to have anti-air constructed in these border states. 100%. I want to have anti-air constructed here. So we're going to get that queued up. How long do these actually end up taking? 60 days? Okay, that's not too bad. And 30 days until all constructions are complete. Landforts build slower the higher level it is, don't they? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So that's going to take some time, and we'll get that started. Excellent. We don't have a huge amount of time, but we're going to see what we get done there. Cool. So yeah, we can see that this is now... Yeah, each of these is taking twice as long. That's okay. Engineer Company 3 finishes. Let's begin working on, say, Recon Company 3. That'll be okay. So good progress there. And when is our justification going to be done here? Two days. Okay, two days. That's uh, not going to be absolutely fantastic. So our justification has completed at this point. What I want to do is I want to move up in priority all of these that currently are at 10. So I want to have at least two levels of land fort, like everywhere, right? So we're going to do something like this. And I'm going to continue prioritizing our anti-air. So it'll be something along the lines of that. So we'll get some of these going anyway. Okay, we can declare this war, and it'll be interesting to see what ends up happening here. They are technically still at war with communist France, so that'll be very interesting for sure. This will be 11% world tension. Okay, so that's going to be a pretty hefty amount of world tension. That is not shocking, and we'll just send this at this time. So we declare war, and I'm going to have our tank units, which are currently set up over here, be told that their offensive line is going to be, like, taking Beijing here. Something kind of along the lines of that. Okay, we can have everybody stop drilling. Everybody stop drilling. There we go. And these guys have not actually prepared this plan. So that's okay, we're just going to hold on the border for now. And these guys over here, we're going to need to regenerate organization for a bit. Okay. Cool. So we're just regening organization at this time. And these guys are not really ready to do this plan. Estimated plan value minus 87%. This is not shocking. A non-aggression pact from French South Africa. Okay, sounds good. I do believe we just accidentally pushed in over here. Okay, sounds great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this army here, and I'm going to tell them, even though this is infantry, I'm going to tell them I want to connect up our front lines. So we're going to get started on that. There we go. So we're going to do that for now. Yeah, they called in Korea. That's unsurprising. Deeply, deeply unsurprising. And at this point, I want to check in on our logistics fulfillment. Okay. So we have insufficient resources, specifically rubber. That's unsurprising there. They're probably interdicting our rubber shipments. That's absolutely okay for the moment. Although what we certainly could do is we could hop over into naval mode and we have these crappy ships. I don't know if they're going to be effective at all. But we can have this reserve fleet, and we can create a commander for that. Yeah, this guy will do. And I would like to have all of these head on over and do probably convoy escort. And that should end up being here, here, and here. Okay, something along the lines of that. Fantastic. Now... We're mostly pushing in on this front for the moment, and that's okay. Yeah, that's reasonably fine. So we're going to continue constructing our defenses. Okay, they called Siam. That's not surprising. And we did just finish an artillery research here. So that was our anti-air, I believe. That sounds reasonable. I'm going to start working at this point on the 1943 medium. 
the medium tank there. So that'll be fine. We're going to grab the nuclear effort, perhaps. Although we could go collectivist ethos, and I think that's what we should do for now. Okay, so we're going to go that route. At this point, we do have an air doctrine available, which we might as well take. Sounds good. Okay, what else do we need to do? Well, I want to check in on our production here. We know that we need to take our advanced anti-air up to advanced anti-air 3. Do we have any available traits here? There's no need to upgrade? Okay. Sounds good. So we're just going to put in the advanced anti-air 3, and we'll get started producing that. This is, of course, going to be mildly problematic for us. But we're doing okay on, on this front out over here. That said... Why have we abandoned over here? Why have we abandoned over here? That's an excellent question. One that I wish we had an answer to. Uh, that would be nice, for sure. Okay, we're probably going to have to redeploy our armies here. And I do want to have these guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete all of these orders, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this army, which is already over on this side. I'm going to tell them that they are responsible for, not that front line, they're responsible for the front line being... Okay, let's set their front line here. They're responsible for the front line from, like, here? Yes. So they're responsible for this area of front line. Then these guys, and this is going to require some upkeep. Oh, uh, we do have orders out over here already. Right. I'm going to get rid of those, and I'm going to get rid of these. Awkwardness ensues out over here, but that's okay for the time being. Okay, so this army is responsible for a front line from here out to here. But I'm also going to make them responsible for a front line out over here. So they're going to go up to about here or so. Okay. Next is going to be these guys, and they are going to be responsible for the front line from about here to here, but also down on this side. So we want that to be down here and potentially here as well. Okay. So this is going to be a little awkward, right? No doubt about that. So we can see there's no divisions assigned here or here currently. This is moving the entire force, and that is definitely a little bit awkward. Oh, I want to extend this out like that. Okay, so I'm going to send these two units to this order. These, perhaps five units or so, to this order. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be okay. And one, two, three, four, five... Okay, this is currently 13 divisions up here. That's probably reasonably fine. Okay, so Army 2 is assigned to this order. I'm going to make this be about half. We're going to assign them there. And then the other half are going to be assigned over here. So we'll just go from here to here. I hope that Shift-Click would get all of those, but it didn't. Okay, we'll assign those here. And then up here, this is 12 divisions of Army 1. This should be the entirety of Army 1 assigned over here. Okay, now these guys, I want them to have their front line be about here. Now, this is too long for them, really, but something along the lines of that. And then their offensive line would be, as before, going down something kind of like that. Okay. So our units are going to redeploy. We might see a little bit of territory loss there. We'll see. Uh, where are these guys going? Uh, this army is supposed to be entirely down here. What did I mess up here? No divisions assigned here. This is currently army two. Okay. So that is definitely a problem. There's supposed to be an army assigned here. And I think what that ends up meaning for us is that we are definitely lacking in some units out over this way. So, to that end, what do we want to do about that? Well, this is a very, very long front line, and that's not surprising at all. 
I'm going to quick deploy all of the units that are currently in training. And we're going to get these units. I want these armored divisions to get assigned over here. So where's this other armored division? Here it is. And these three units I'm going to put into this army. So that's all fine. But we still don't have anyone actually assigned up over here. This is a very, very long front line. Indeed it is. You know what? I think that this isn't going to end up working as we have it right now. We're going to have to take a chunk of this army. And we're going to have to put it here. And then another chunk. I'm going to grab one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to put them up over here. This is too many locations for this amount of troops to hold. We need to l shorten the length of this front line. That's what needs to happen here. So that's reasonably fine. We are seeing some fighting happening out over here. Which for the moment is okay. We're making some progress here. I want to move up some of these. So we're going to move these guys up to about here. And we're still going to be prioritizing these guys. There we go. So something along the lines of that. Actually, we don't necessarily need to be prioritizing those at this point, but it's okay. It's okay. So at this point, the question is, do we feel like we are superior in any locations? Well, these guys kind of feel like they are. I would really like to shorten these lines and make this like one continuous front and do an army group deployment. That would be really, really good. No doubt about that. That would be very beneficial for us. So if we were to do that, the question then becomes, how would we go about doing it, right? Well, what we would really like to do is we'd like to have these guys actually start their attack. This attack out over here is not going tremendously well due to the organization. But we're seeing the organization pretty low across the board. Okay. So we're redeploying here. That's going to take some time. We're probably going to lose a little bit of territory as we redeploy. But we are gaining some territory out over here too. Okay, they called in Tibet. No shockers there. So we're just looking to shorten our front line overall. We are seeing some attacks happening down here. But we're also creating this fallback line, right? And this fallback line will be kind of difficult for them to attack into. I think this is fine. We're just going to do it from here. Okay. So, at this point, awkwardness is ensuing out over here. We don't have divisions over here. Who's assigned to be here? Five divisions are. They're just not here right now. Okay. Noted. They're calling in all of their vassals, which is unsurprising. We could probably do the same. So, if we were to call in these guys, they would accept this. And we could do the same with all of our vassals. We have a number of these, of course. Hey, Persia, you want to come in? Of course they do. Hey, Sikh Empire, you want to come in? Of course they do. Is there a way to do this with all of our vassals simultaneously? Can we go in here and just call to arms? That would be nice. Unfortunately, I do not believe that we can. So, it's kind of strange that it's not popping up over here, right? I feel like it should. Well, we can do the same with Kalat. Some of these are probably not necessarily going to come in, but that's okay. So we can call to arms everybody here. Well, I mean, they're all going to come in, but some of them are going to be a ways away, right? But that's fine. We'll call in Belarus. We'll call in Lithuania. There we go. We'll do the same with Finland and Sweden and Norway. And then we have a couple down over here that we could call to arms as well. So we've got these guys. I doubt they'll do much, but we do have a few nations down here that we can call in as well. We have quite a lot of quite a lot of allies. No doubt about that. So Katai, we can call to arms. We can do the same with Belungan, although I think we already did. And then Kutai is there. Okay, yep. That should be all of them, I think, unless we missed one down over here, but I don't think we did. I believe that's all of them. Okay, so we have an unassigned division here, apparently from Sweden. And I'm going to send that into this army. Looks good. 
Okay, cool. So we are definitely looking to do some pushing in here. And we are broadly succeeding in that, although this is intriguing. What exactly is happening down here? They've pushed out this way? Fascinating. So I'd like to grab, well, a bit of a backup force, right? Actually, this is kind of okay. I feel like our vassals can handle this. Especially if we went and cut these off. So what if we were to send, say, just this force? Awkward pathing. Very awkward pathing. Okay. I guess we'll just let it be. Cool. Now, what we really want to see here is gains on this side. And we are indeed seeing exactly that. So I want to grab this army and I want to tell them to start doing an offensive push as well. Something like this. And we're going to tell them to attack. These guys out over here are in a bit of an awkward position. No doubt about it. I'm allowing this to happen deliberately. This is a bad position for them. And I think this is absolutely okay. We're just going to continue to push in over here for now. And this looks reasonably fine. I'm going to take this down to speed four at this point. And this infantry division is going to be moved into a new army. I'm going to send this as our response force down here. That'll be fine for now. They'll get here eventually, and we will need a new commander for that. So we'll get a field commander promoted. That'll be this guy. And we have to close that and go back in. Very awkward. But there we go. We'll do something along the lines of that. And this infantry division can go in there as well. So this is going to be our rapid response force. These are not our infantry divisions. And in reality... We may want to take some of these that are... Well, this is the infantry division template. Is this our infantry division template? Yes, it is. Okay. So that looks good. We are beginning to press in over here. We have actually gotten these guys cut off. And we're just going to take them out. Beautiful. Advanced artillery upgrade has finished. And we also can get improved tooling here. So we'll definitely grab that. And that is then going to be our artillery basically complete. I'm going to hop into armor here, and we are going to start working on modern armor protection. There we go. And we're just going to continue to press in to China here. So these guys up over here, they are not actually attacking, and I kind of want them to set up an offensive line that's about like that and get started on some attacks. It's definitely not ideal with our level of tanks that we have right now which is not shocking in the slightest. Not shocking at all. But note how these guys are now cut off. And that's perfect. So I want this army here, once they arrive, to be offensive lining, you know, something along the lines of that. And they're going to push in. There are no supplies there. We just need to wait for the forces to actually arrive. It'll take them some time. That's all looking reasonably good. This out over here is looking not amazing. A subject may soon raise its autonomy. Okay, so these guys are raising their autonomy. How is this coming up? From war contribution, perhaps? Not entirely sure. It's not saying in the tooltip, but I'm guessing it's probably from, like, war contribution. That's okay. For the time being, we're going to continue to press through over here on this side, and that's looking good. If the subjects do raise their autonomy, we'll deal with that. But for now, I think this is okay. We're definitely pressing in over on this side. Things are looking broadly okay. And my question at this point is, how exactly is this war looking in terms of capitulation desire? Okay, so 3% towards capitulation. We are apparently 7% towards capitulation, but that's because we've lost some territory out over here. That will change very soon. This pocket is being dealt with, although they are supplying through here which is not necessarily ideal, but we're going to continue to press in over on this side and particularly over on this side. So I want to check in on our construction. Yeah, this is looking reasonably fine. We're getting those fallback lines built. It's probably not super necessary to continue to build these fallback lines, so I'm going to move those down to bottom priority, and we're continuing to work on our railways at this time. So that seems good. 
I want to check in on our production here. Okay, this looks reasonably fine here. Cool. So this territory down here, yeah, they, they went from Integrated Puppet to Reich's Protectorate. Which is not necessarily shocking. So what does that actually end up doing? Okay. Noted. That is probably due to war contribution, if I had to guess. So note how this area over here is currently pocketed. We are seeing this attack currently succeed-ish. I want to have these guys work on breaking through. So I want these guys to attack, and I want this guy to support attack. I forget how to support attack. I definitely forget how to support attack. But we want to head up over here. Okay, they are support attacking. Perfect. And we'd like to take down this area, right? This is a bit of a problem for us, no doubt about it. These guys have circled around and are currently attacking this force from the rear. So we need these guys to head on in over here. We have very little units in this area. So what do we want to do about that? Well, for the time being, we're making big gains out over here. So I'm not sure how relevant that really is. This area being pocketed is problematic, no doubt about it. And we do want to have these guys start to push in here. So you can take over here. And I would really like to cut off their supplies down here. So we can send these guys over to do exactly that. So we're going to send them over. They move kind of slow because they're infantry, which is expected. Okay, they'll make it there eventually. So we are definitely seeing a lack of supplies out over here. They've moved a lot of forces in here. This is a bad situation for us. But it's probably okay-ish. Okay-ish. They are taking a long time to get there, though. A very long time. So the main problem here is we have a lack of forces over on this side. We need to do a breakthrough over here. And are these guys actually set up to attack? They are. Wait, are they actually attacking? I'm not sure that they are. I'm not sure that they have an offensive line set up. I would like to have that offensive line be something kind of like that. Okay, now they're set up to attack. There we go. So that's okay. And as far as this down over here goes, these guys are moving very, very slowly, right? And I actually only want one of these to be moving, but head on down. We need to finish this battle and walk into this location. If we take this location, they will be cut off from their supplies out over here. And that, that's very, very big for us. We need them to be cut off from supplies. So we're walking very painfully slowly over here. We are, of course, ourselves cut off from supplies here. If we can... Well, actually, there's a connection here, isn't there? I believe there is. I would like to launch an attack here, but we don't actually have the ability to do that. Okay. So this would be the most likely area for us to do a breakthrough. So I want to move this guy in. Yeah, this is very awkward. We can't actually attack through here. Noted. A breakthrough down this way, though, would be fine, too. This would give us supplies. So we can head down this way for the time being. Our allied nations are, in theory, going to be taking care of this area, but they're not, in practice, taking Go care on. of the area. So that's very awkward for us. No doubt about it. We are, however, succeeding in attacks out on this front. And that seems reasonably fine for the moment. This area is a problem. No doubt about it. But we are seeing gains out over here, in theory. How close are these guys? They're close-ish. A breakthrough here will allow us to move supplies up this way, though. And there's no one defending this right now. So that is a good sign. We're almost there. Almost there. Painfully slow. They launched this attack. And that was perfectly timed, which I'm sure was deliberate. Okay, I want you to remain here for the time being. So, that will allow us to supply these areas again, which will be good. 
that'll be very, very helpful for us. I am going to delete... What, what army is this? This army. I'm going to delete this order. And I'm going to tell these units that we want to pull them back to be out over here. Okay. And then we want to offensive line that to be something kind of like... Okay, this is a very awkward offensive line. Sure. I guess that'll do. So we're going to pull them back there. And they'll eventually try to make their way out of there. Are they not assigned to this order? I'm not sure they are. There are these other units up here as well. Who are assigned to this order. Okay. Let's just move them up into here. Okay. So something along the lines of that. We're going to attempt to withdraw from this pocket. Okay. That is not withdrawing. Neither of these units are actually withdrawing, which is awkward. Okay. Well, we do have supplies flowing through here now. So that is a very good thing. I guess we'll need to put them down over here. And that would be, like, not this force. I want to not select units assigned to that order. I guess what we'll need to do is select just these units. Assign them to this order. And the question is, what do we want to do about this breakthrough? Well, we are making significant progress there. I'm going to move these guys in here. I think that we're relatively okay out over here. I'm not convinced that these guys are actually getting supply flow through here. They look like they're not. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And these infantry divisions can absolutely be assigned down over here. That'll be useful. Next episode, we'll deal with this. And we'll continue to press in on this side where we're seeing significant success. Which is kind of expected, given that's where our tanks are. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kentogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. And we're gonna clean up those orders.